Hello, my name is Christophe Tafani de Repair. I'm the author and maintainer of Stratus Red Team. In this video, we'll have a look at how you can use it in practice to reproduce common attack techniques in the cloud and understand how to detect them. Stratus Red Team is an open source project that you can download from GitHub. There's also a website at stratusredteam.cloud which shows the list of attack techniques, the frequently asked questions, as well as how it compares to other tools. In the attack techniques reference, you will see that it supports attacks for AWS, Google Cloud, Azure, and Kubernetes. And the idea is that you're going to point Stratus Red Team at an existing cloud account and use that to detonate, to reproduce some common cloud attack techniques. So let's do just that. I'm inside of a cloud account, a test AWS account, and I have Stratus installed. What we can do now is list the available attack techniques using Stratus list. In that case, for AWS. We can see that we have a number of them. And if we want some more information, we can just copy paste the ID inside StratusRedTeam.cloud. In that case, this is an attack where you simulate an attacker sharing the snapshot of an EBS disk with an external AWS account. And you see that there are two phases. The first one is the warm-up. In that phase, Stratus Red Team is going to prepare all the prerequisites that you need to reproduce the attack. And the detonation is the actual reproduction of the attack. So let's detonate this attack technique. You can just copy-paste the CLI here. You see that first, Stratus Red Team is going to warm up the attack. In that case, it's going to use Terraform under the hood to create an EBS volume and an EBS snapshot. So let's wait for a few seconds. We can see now that Stratus Red Team created a snapshot and a volume, and that it reproduced the attack technique below, where it shared the volume snap 01 ce 5 with an external AWS account. So let's just wait a few minutes and see what happens in the cloud trail logs. So if we now go to the AWS console and we look for the snapshot, we see that the snapshot is here. And we can see that it has been shared with an external attacker account. Now, let's wait for a few minutes until the cloud trail logs come in. In the meantime, we can look at the description of the attack. And you'll see that there is a detection section where we talk about the cloud trail events that you can use to detect this attack. In that case, we have modified snapshot attribute. And we have another one, shared snapshot copy initiated if the attacker actually does copy the snapshot inside of their account. Now that the logs have arrived, we can see that we have a modified snapshot attribute event that was generated by the attack from Stratus Red Team. If we focus on the request parameters by selecting just this field, we do see that the attacker has tried to share a specific snapshot with this specific AWS account ID. So this is a good basis to build the detection uh, and have a very short feedback loop to understand how the attack works and being able to reproduce them. Now that we are done with the reproduction of this attack, we can go back to the CLI and we can use Stratus Cleanup to remove any infrastructure created as part of this test. We can see that Stratus is going to first unshare the snapshot and then remove any prerequisite that it created previously. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to have a look around the Stratus Red Team website. You will see that there are some attack techniques for several clouds. If you are interested to contribute, if you have any question, any bug report, feel free to open an issue on GitHub. Thank you and have a nice day.